Welcome back. Well, one company in focus is Panacea Biotech. Uh, the company has collab collaborated with Serum Institute of India for a new vaccine for infants. Uh, to discuss this, we have Rajesh Jain, the joint MD of the company, joining in to discuss um, exactly what this means for Panacea as well as for Serum Institute. Mr. Jain, hi. Thanks very much for joining in. So it's hexavalent vaccine which you've tied up with Serum for. I think it's your... Uh, one of your most prominent ones, if I'm not mistaken. Can you just start by telling us what this means in terms of uh, the key factors that go into this uh, collaboration? Yeah, good morning. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me to your channel this morning. This is a very important uh, collaboration between two Indian companies and probably the largest in terms of potential value. Uh, which will address the immunization needs of the developing countries, including India, where the birth cohort is uh, close to 121 million children. It's a, it's a huge impact that this uh, vaccine, which is hexavalent vaccine, we call it EZ6 in India. We introduced this vaccine in India somewhere around March 2017, and it has been uh, taken up very uh, you know, promptly by the pediatricians in India. And we are, uh, this collaboration actually is now going to take this to uh, more than 100 countries worldwide in which both companies will manufacture this vaccine and supply to uh, UN agencies, largely uh, national governments of India as well as in the developing countries. Overall, uh, what we see is a potential of more than 250 million doses of this vaccine annually with a potential of over a billion dollars. And in this collaboration, we are looking forward to uh, Serum Institute of India leading the role by supplying us the IPV uh, component in it. Okay. And they are currently scaling up their capacities to meet this challenge of more than 250 million doses need annually. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jain, you know, can you take us through what it means in terms of the financials for Panacea? Because uh, with this collaboration, I'm sure there would be a revenue and profit share as well. So what is the proportion of that? Okay. Uh, I think uh, uh, what we are looking at largely is both companies uh, have a capacity uh, to supply this vaccine uh, globally. And uh, depending upon which countries finally take up this uh, directly or through UN agencies, we will be segregating uh, that revenue line as we move closer to the market in terms of collaboration. So all these operative tactical things will be you know, decided in the next two years. That is the time when this vaccine will be at its peak in terms of uh, you know, uh, the production and supply. And how many and other In companies? the next two years, Panacea Biotech... Uh, how many other companies are probably selling Sorry, the same? Sorry, can you say that? How many other companies are probably selling the same vaccine currently uh, globally? So, for example, what would your competition be? Uh, this is an innovative product from Panacea Biotech, so we are not expecting any competition from others, other companies in the space, and we are, uh, in terms of uh, the introduction, far ahead of our potential competition in a uh, number of years. Mm. So we don't expect any competition, although we welcome competition, but we don't expect that to happen in the coming years. Okay, and Mr. Jain, quickly then, uh, can we expect, uh, you know, maybe an uh, extension of this collaboration between, between Serum as well as Panacea, considering that both of you all are pretty much in the same business of vaccines? It could be anything, uh, more vaccines that you could put, collaborate with, maybe uh, something more in terms of, say, a financial tie-up. Actually, uh, both the companies are very, uh, we know each other for almost a decade or maybe more than that. We have had an active uh, relationship and we keep meeting each other to, you know, explore how we can create value. Actually, this relationship is all about creating additional value, not what both the companies are doing. So uh, I believe that as we move forward, Panacea being an innovative company, we are innovating all the time. So there is a uh, huge potential of both the companies also doing some good work in the coming years. Okay, fair enough, uh, Mr. Jain. We're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. So that is Panacea Biotech, the stock up around 3.5 to 4 odd percent uh, tie up with uh, Serum Institute, which is not a listed company, but one of the largest vaccine manufacturers of the world uh, with Panacea on one of their vaccines. We'll uh, take a break now, but up next, we're going to be discussing the market fundamentals. Gaurav Mehta of Ambit Asset Management will be with us next.